Hello and welcome to the Cabinet of Creations where you refined horror, horror, beauty and the perfectly imperfect. imperfect. Spiders. <laughs> right, I am quite a big fan of the Alien films and obviously a little of inspiration that you'll notice in this if you are too is the egg. It's supposed to be a hybrid between a human and a spider of sorts, but as you notice, she or, or it has only got six legs. Well, four legs and two arms, equal in six. Now, some of you might say, oh, but spider has eight, but also a spider doesn't have a human body or face. So because this is art, I could pretty much do what I want. <laughs> so yeah, here's my little hybrid called That Thing, because she hasn't quite got a name. Basically, she's hatching out of this egg thing, all the goo, and everything is running down the hatchling goo. I'm sure there's a more techie term than that, hatchling goo. I've done it with super glue and clear glue, and then later on gloss, just to give it that ultra wet gooness. And the actual egg itself is good old polymer clay, one of my faves. And then after I've baked it, I then go in with matte acrylic paint. I wanted this to be quite a natural looking, you know, pinks, purples, sort of, I guess, if it was an alien, it would be those sort of colours in my mind. Here I am just using wire to do different tendrils or, or veins, whatever you want to interpret as. Now, because I can't put the item back in the oven, because I've got the wood and it's got plastic stoppers underneath, etc., I'm just using now two-part epoxy sculpt to make all the different shapes so it won't have to go back in the oven. Here I'm using matte acrylic paint. I tend to do a bit of mixing actually on the thing itself, which I didn't really realise until obviously putting voiceovers to some of my videos, including pastels as well. So I tend to put the colour on and then sort of mix as I go. I guess you would to get it blending anyway. But yeah, don't be afraid to actually mix on the actual item or thing that you're colouring and doing anyway. Just experiment, try it. What's the worst that can happen? You're going to have to paint over it that's it, so just go for it. Then as I was wiping off some paint that I didn't want to be there whilst it was still wet, 
I then found that tissue actually revealed the pinkiness of the polymer clay or super sculpy which is what I used underneath which gave it just a really organic kind of look and you see here I'm purposely letting bits of tissue stick to the wire I didn't want the wire to appear too smooth so I dabbed on some super glue so it was barely there and then I just press the tissue onto it and you can see little bits sticking to it it just gives it a really much more again I'm going to use the word organic kind of shape and texture <laughs> again using good old-fashioned tissue paper with normal clear glue just to get the kind of like inside of the egg the wrinkles the texture and I'm just ripping bits with the end of my paintbrushes just to add interest as you can see it's all lumpy and bumpy That sort of white thing on the right there stretching across both of the open bits of the egg just there that's actually packaging from I can't remember what it's from now it's some sort of packaging wrapped around something picture frame I think but I thought it gave a really really nice sort of almost like a second skin you know like in an egg where you've got the shell and then the inner skin and then the yolk and white kind of like that yeah Just using a very dry brush and going over all this it really brings out the texture especially the holes just brushing the inner bit with a very dry brush of white Had a couple of these dolls so I'm afraid this poor girl here was used for the spider body I think one of her legs were actually dangly anyway there wasn't quite oh, oh. so if you delicately put some oh so carefully put oh for f fairy flutters and kitten kisses sake so if you get a little bit of glue and gently tip it into the head like so I just wanted to do this so that when you glue the head back on or you then use super glue what am I trying to say I put PVA glue inside the head tip it upside down and put super glue around the rim so that as I tip the head back onto the neck the super glue will hold it in position then as the PVA runs down it will make a nicer bond around that super glue and neck joint and head as well making it ultra strong just carefully drilling holes into her back here now this wire I think is about 5mm gauge wire and I'm just going round with my pliers and scraping it just to give, again I didn't want ultra smooth texture so I'm giving it like almost like hairy skin kind of effect. I've done this before in one of my statue videos if you have a look at that it's basically PVA in the hair so obviously when it dries it goes harder again I wanted this she's just hatched so I wanted this to be like all the water and the goo around her hair sort of sticking it all together and I think that worked out quite well just using two part epoxy sculpt you're supposed to put gloves on while you're mixing this but I do believe that you don't have to have it on once it's mixed but I keep them on anyway just to help eliminate fingerprints just going around the joints here and just giving some details like almost like a knuckle effect or kneecap effect and obviously some more holes as well and a bit of texture I did actually change her forehead a bit later on to accommodate a couple of 
things that looked like eyes so this is how it started and then a little bit later you'll see something different I also changed the eyes as well as I went ahead obviously the eyes you see here are factory paint ones and I do remove them with 100% acetone I've got a new little thing now which is called buymeacoffee.com forward slash for creations yes that's right it's like a, a little area where you can if you really like the videos or like what I do or appreciate the time cost and effort it goes in creating each item and video then it'd be lovely if you could donate like like a bit of coffee I don't actually like coffee it's tea but there wasn't buy me a cup of tea dot com that I'm aware so buy me a coffee dot com forward slash for creations oh look a little fluffy bum bum this is ace this is I don't even know where this come from it's again I've got a little box of off cuts and this was one of them I wanted the fluffiness still to be there so I didn't drench it with thick paint it was fairly watered down but it still appeared black again I wanted that wet look from just hatching it's my first attempt at some eyes real eyes I don't know it kind of I just wasn't feeling it I wasn't feeling the forehead I wasn't feeling the eyes I didn't like the normal eye gave up well I didn't give up I just went down stairs and made a cup of tea come back up and then did some dry brushing just as a, a little break away from the face why I had another think of what I wanted to do dry brushing I mean look at the detail oh I love dry brushing things especially when it has got lots of texture to it it definitely helps if the thing that you're painting is black going in with some soft pastels here on her tummy you may start off doing something like this with a plan in mind and then it ends up changing don't be afraid to change as you go I mean look I feel loads better now doesn't it look more evil than when it was just uh, the normal face before yeah I love it now you know when it's right because it feels right obviously don't forget to spray with Mr Super Clear throughout every finished layer of pastel work and watercolour pencil work that you're happy with so the eyes I'm just going in with different colours here mixing as I go I did google quite a few spider eyes some of them are just beautiful the colours are like aqua and green so that's kind of what I wanted to do and absolutely completely by accident I swear it looks like she's got green pupils whether I did this subconsciously I don't know but it looks like she's actually got pupils which are very dark green I'm just going with matte acrylic paint to give highlights and then good old gloss I think gloss looks absolutely great on eyes whatever eyes you do it suddenly gives it life oh look at that lovely just going in with some clear glue here quite a lot of it I just wanted the inner bits really sealed as though it was full of like water I guess you could say and nutrients that's kept this beautiful little lady in the egg until she developed into this even more beautiful little lady that you see before we interrupt this broadcast here at creation news 24 we have in our possession leaked video and photographs of what we can only describe as an abomination and a potential threat to all humankind as we know it we must warn you that what you are about to see and hear may be very disturbing to witness may god help us all gained entry on second explosion we're going in what's that over there what's that enemy encounters enemy encounters fire 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 it's no good there's too many of them retreat retreat back go go go, go. <laughs>
Spiders. <laughs> Bye.